Infusion 360 to drive your entire design. Coming up. Hey, Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. Today we're talking about equations in Fusion 360. So check this out. I've got this model and it's a few sketches. It's a few different features. It's some fillets. It's a bunch of stuff. But if I come in and double click on this dimension, check this out. The whole thing is driven by one dimension. How do you do something like that? Let's go into it. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is start a sketch. I'm gonna sketch everything on the top plane for this example, and I'm gonna begin with a rectangle. And you know what? I'm actually gonna search for my rectangles, and I'm gonna put everything on centered on the origin for this example. It's a good habit. If I wanna put planes right in the middle and keep things centered, that helps. Now, one thing I missed when I did that, so rectangle, center, and I'm gonna type in those values right now. I'm gonna say it's eight millimeter by hit tab and then type in 15. I love that, that you can drop the dimensions really quick with the rectangle tool, very nice. All right, so what I'd like to do is drive this dimension based off of this one. So I'm gonna click on it. And one way to reference the other dimension is to click the other, so it's gonna write it in. So this is called D2. And I also could just type it in. So D2 plus some sort of formula, right? So what do I want it to be? I want it to always be twice. So times two, great. Now I'm gonna extrude it. I'm gonna do D2. And what I want, so it was eight millimeters. Let's say that it's always 1.3 times that side of that edge. So we just extruded it, great. And maybe that's not quite what I want. So how do I bring up those parameters? I'll hit S, parameters, change parameters. It pops up this nice menu. Okay, I love this. So there's my equations that it's using. So like we were saying, we could have just brought it back up, but instead I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change it here, and hit okay. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a shell thickness. I'll type in shell. So as you can see, it's kind of using the same uh, logic going forward. So D2, and I don't want an eight millimeter shell, so maybe I want point, you know, point two, point one. How's that look? Pretty good, great. Now, what about a chamfer in this corner? So that's point 0.5, let's do D2 times 0.05, great, very cool. So let's go test it out. Say one little tip, if you right click on a sketch and choose show dimension, it's gonna wake up those dimensions. You do have to be showing the sketch and this allows you to not have to go back in and edit the sketch to change the dimensions. I love this, you can double click and change this to 15 and you can see the whole thing is driven from that. So that's a quick tip on Fusion 360 on parameters. Hope that's helpful. I'll see you in the next video.